Hi, I'm Keisha Upshaw, a marketing coordinator at ABS Kids living just outside of Houston, Texas. How can I best prepare my child for ABA therapy? As a former RBT therapist, this is a question I was often asked. One thing you can do is start conversations with your child. You can communicate with them that ABA is a special program designed to help them learn and have fun. You could also schedule a visit at the ABA therapy clinic they will be attending so that they may become familiar with the environment and the people that work there. Alternatively, if you've chosen in-home services, you can schedule a meeting with your provider beforehand so that everyone can become more comfortable in your home environment. How are ABA sessions structured? ABA sessions are structured based on each individual child's needs, preferences, and strengths. You will be able to work with your BCBA and your RBT to develop a plan that works for your child's unique needs. Depending upon if your child is in center-based therapy or in-home therapy, the structure of your sessions could look very different. Either way, your team will help you create a plan that is in the best interest of your child. ABA therapy focuses on teaching adaptive skills across various environments. Some examples of skills taught in ABA therapy are social and communication skills, self-help skills, and play skills. ABA therapy can also be effective at helping to reduce unwanted behaviors, such as aggression, repetitive actions, and self-injury type behaviors. There are many ways a parent can be involved in their child's ABA therapy. One of the most important things you can do is to stay engaged. Make sure that you ask your BCBA any questions that you might have and be very familiar with your child's treatment plan. The more familiar you are with the ABA skills your child is learning, the more you can practice ABA everywhere. The more practice, the better. Lastly, you could request parent training to help you to be concrete in your skills and practice with your child more often. During Autism Month and all year long, remember, life doesn't stop with a diagnosis. Make sure you let your child witness the freedom that comes from being themselves. Most importantly, remember that you're not alone. There are plenty of people out there willing to embrace you, love you, educate you, and guide you.